Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. And today, a brief MD Minute published out of the Journal of the American Medical Association, a well-known and very prestigious journal looking at biotin, which is a, a supplement used by millions of people. It helps with nail growth, hair growth, and really does work on the skin. It's something I recommend all the time, but this is a cautionary tale because the subjects in this study who were taking biotin, it caused abnormal levels in terms of blood tests for certain uh, endocrine hormones like thyroid hormones. So let me go into the details. 38 years old was the average age. They had six people, two women and four men. And what they did was they took 10 milligrams of biotin for a week. The normal amount that people take in the diet that they need is much, much less than that. It's 30 micrograms. But most people, if they want to do a hair, skin and nail supplement, will be taking between two and five milligrams. So this was a slightly higher dose, but still a dose that is used by lots of people. And what they did is they took it for a week and they did blood tests for hormone levels, like thyroid hormone levels, at zero before they'd taken it, seven days after they'd taken it for a week, and then at 14 days they had stopped it for a week. What they found is very important. They found that if you were taking the biotin, about 40% of the tests, compared to the people who were, you know, before you were taking it, the thyroid hormone tests were very abnormal. They seem to, you know, have a low level of the thyroid that would suggest that you um, may have an overactive thyroid or that people would miss an underactive thyroid because the biotin would make your blood levels look more normal. So my take on this is biotin is awesome, but if you need to get your thyroid hormones tested because you're worried about low functioning thyroid or a overactive thyroid, you need to come off your biotin for a number, of, certainly two weeks, so that there can be no interaction. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.